I am Ebziba. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video we're going to be featuring a very special and uncommon little plant called Peperomia pellucida. Now this plant is uncommon because not many persons know about it in today's day and age and those who do because it is so cute they actually use it as an ornamental. Now this special little plant, Peperomia pellucida, it goes by other names such as Rattiers, Man to Man, Crab Claw, Rabbit Ears and family, many other names in other parts of the world. Now let's get right into what this very special plant can do, especially for you men and your prostate. So the rabbit ears or mantaman, it grows mainly in tropical countries like the Caribbean, Asian countries, Africa. However, even though Jamaica has a very warm climate throughout, there are some colder areas and so you'd find the plant mainly in those areas where there's a lot of rainfall. So mainly in the rural areas. So back in the day, this plant was used mainly to treat the common cold and cough. And guys, it is just like any other medicinal plant. It has anti-inflammatory properties and it also has antioxidants. Now, recent studies show that the plant extract reduces uric acid in the blood. And so it has been used to treat uh, rheumatoid arthritis and gout in some regions of the world and even in Jamaica too. Um, for persons who really know about this plant. Now, this plant here now, man to man or rabbit ears, it is so versatile because it can be used to treat both constipation and diarrhea. So you could call it an adaptogen. Uh, the man to man or rabbit ears, it is used in the treatment of prostate health and how this is done, family, I won't get much into this because remember now I'm not a doctor, but how this is done, the juice is normally extracted and it is done without using any form of water. So you press out as much as the, of the juice as possible. And another very good benefit of the man to man or rabbit ears, well back in the days our four parents used to use it for wound healing again they would press out the the juice from it and they would administer it to persons who have fractured bones or they would just squeeze it onto the sores you know like sometimes some people back in the day used to get some sores where couldn't heal none at all some real bad sores and they would just pound it out extract the juice and put it on the sores and you know after a while it would heal so this herb it can be had as a tea every now and then I've had it before and it does not have any distinct taste so it's something that you will actually like and for the tea it's a regular brewing process you bring your water to boil and you drop it into the water like about 30 seconds to a minute and you allow it to steep and remove it from the flame so basically that's the man to man there are so many other properties and benefits to be realized from using the man to man but I will leave it here family because I love when you also do your own research so I hope you will enjoy this feature on this special little herb, little but talawa and powerful. Yes guys, I hope you really full enjoyed it. And remember family, we're just sharing information here on Jamaican folklore and herbs. So if anything 